My name is Lam Mei Yok. I am 55 years old. Probably because she's getting old, she's not willing to do exercises. She sits here all the time like an old lady. Perhaps because she's already 55 years old. She's old. Intellectually disabled citizens like Lam nowadays live much longer than they did in the past due to advanced medical technology. This has also resulted in challenges for their family cares. It is obvious to see her physical ability is not as good. One of her ear is deaf already. She was deaf five years ago, before she moved into the Caritas dormitory. There is nothing we can do. I can only speak louder to her. Chang Yiling is 60 and suffers from the after-effects of meningitis, a disease she contracted when she was only one year old. Her older sister is 69 years old and has been taking care of her since their mother died. Chang's physical condition is getting worse as she gets older. Her sister says she often worries other would pick on Chang Yiling if she's not next to her. For example, once a security guard of their residential building did not let her take the elevator before everybody was gone. According to medical research, intellectually disabled people have a higher chance of having physical disabled-related diseases at an earlier age compared to ordinary people. And the cause of early physical deterioration is genetic. In fact, they're facing the same aging and health issues as ordinary people, but we're talking about double aging problems in here. The families who take care of them also face the fact that they are suffering from chronic health issues such as diabetes or joint problems. Intellectually disabled people are suffering from the same problems, also because of their lack of self-controllability or inability to take care of themselves. They would suffer from different emotional or psychological problems. Also, they do not do enough exercises, so they suffer from a lot of joint problems as well. According to Social Welfare Bureau, the total number of residents holding a valid disability card is 10,486, which is about 2% of the total population. And 5% of these are intellectually disabled residents who are age 45 or above. In the next 5 to 10 years, the number of aging intellectually disabled residents will go up and the need of medical services will increase as well. What are the actual challenges to be faced in the society? Intellectually disabled elderly are the same as other ordinary elderly. They receive all the subsidies from the government. For example, the disability subsidies, free medical service, public transportation subsidies, etc. Also, we provide effective measures and financial subsidies, especially aimed for intellectually disabled elderly. Lam Bui Guo is a mother of a son with autism. Similar to most cases, she insists on taking care of her own son. However, she could not take care of her son anymore as she is getting old. She is afraid that her son is not going to take care of himself when she passes away in the future. As a parent, I want to stay with my son all the time. I don't want to put him in the dormitory. Parents don't want to separate themselves from their children no matter what. But my health is getting worse day by day. I'm not able to take care of my son anymore. There is nothing I can do about it. But after I separated from my son, who has autism, he kept hitting his face with his hands when he misses me. The retina of one of his eyes fell off, actually. This is what he does when he misses me. According to the current policies, there are different subsidies for the parents of mentally disabled children who struggle with financial difficulties. The intellectually disabled people are able to go to the daytime activity centers, and they would go back to their intellectually disabled dormitories at night. However, the waiting time to get into the dormitories depends on individual cases and the emergency level. 
because the waiting time is totally dependent on the intellectually disabled person's family condition. For example, if they have done an evaluation at our center, he or she is in the waiting list now. But this person could not enter the dormitory immediately, as their situation is not as urgent as others. But we still have a mechanism to handle those that are on the waiting list. Any students who are under emergency situation could contact us, and we'll see what we can do to help them right away. As the group of aging intellectually disabled people is getting old, their physical ability is similar to an ordinary elderly. In fact, an old age home for people with intellectual disabilities is the last protection they have. Parents of children with special needs met and talk about this common issue about who would look after their children when they grow old. As nobody would be willing to take this lifetime responsibility during old age, they believe an old age home for citizens with intellectual disabilities is the best option for them when they are old.